Welcome to Graber Works. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you do, please like, subscribe, and comment. Today's video is about making a DIY water chiller for a laser cutter. The basic parts of this laser cooler is a reservoir, pump, rubber hose, and a thermometer gauge. The idea behind this cooler is to keep the water cooler, which will enable the laser to run longer and without the heat related damage that shortens laser tube life. I have tried to keep the cooler as cheap as I could, so I used common parts found at the big box hardware stores or what I had on hand. The materials I used for the construction were a 3 inch PVC pipe, 1 inch PVC pipe, purple primer, PVC cement, PLA material. I 3D printed the end caps, but you could buy PVC end caps and modify them for the laser cooler. I modeled the two end caps in FreeCAD. Yes, there are two of them. One with a press fit that I use for the bottom to avoid leaks. The other cap is a loose fit for the top for easy frozen water bottle addition or thawed water bottle removal. The holes in the center of the caps were designed to be a press fit for the 1 inch PVC pipe to avoid any cooler water leaks. I opened the model in Cura and sliced the model. I used 1.75mm white PLA using standard quality settings with 20% info and a 50mm per second speed. No support was needed. Both models printed well and I did not have any issues with the prints. The time it took to print was 6 hours on each cap for a total of 12 hours of print time. Here's the print speeded up to 50 times normal. Here's a view of a thermometer gauge that I purchased off the internet. It is battery operated and I have used this for a few years and have never replaced the battery. This was under $5 if memory serves me correctly and well worth it because my tube is dated 2017 which makes it 4 years old and it's still going strong. Once the 3D parts were printed I test fitted them together to ensure the fit and to see if there were any potential problems. No issues were noticed so I primed the PVC parts using purple primer and used the PVC cement on the parts.
After the 3D prints were fitted together, I modified the plastic bucket reservoir by cutting a 1.5 inch hole that will accept the drain pipe from the laser cooler. Make sure you don't get any plastic spark in your water reservoir. That will cause issues with your pump and laser tubes. Take a file and clean the edges of the hole to ensure removal of any plastic spark. I placed the laser cooler on the bucket, put a frozen bottle of water into the cooler, replaced the cap and hose, and turned the machine on. The cooler dropped the temperature about 3 degrees and 30 minutes. I looked at the placement of the hose in the water was being discharged toward the side of the frozen water bottle. I placed the hose so that the discharged water was flowing onto the top of the bottle and down the sides. This helped and further reduced the temperature by 1 degree and 5 minutes. I've run this while operating the laser and it maintained the temperature. I did replace the now thawed water bottle with a frozen one when I saw the temperature rise by a few degrees. If you have any comments, suggestions, or would like some more information, please request it in the comments section or send me an email. Thank you for watching Graber Works, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe for future videos, and comment. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.